Hi all! As you know, soon we will celebrate the International Women Day. And I was thinking about the uh, special role that each woman plays in uh, our life. And I think that women deserve really a lot, uh, as any other person. But sometimes I see two categories of women. The ones who really enjoy their life, the ones who really succeed, the ones who are really confident and feel loved, and the ones who try their best and probably sometimes work much more than first category, uh, sleep less, um, really care about everybody, but they do not feel happy and fulfilled. And then there is a question, why so? Uh, first of all, we as women need to pay time for ourselves. So uh, instead of always uh, having focus on your partner, on your children, on job and so on, ask yourself if you invest some time in yourself. Did you have the time to uh, go to the gym and train a bit and feel more energized? Um, did you have the time to go to a cinema, uh, for example, and uh, enlarge your knowledge and uh, cultural intelligence? Uh, have you been uh, going uh, to a restaurant uh, when it was the last time? Uh, have you been spoiling yourself? So I think that women should be spoiled and they have to um, make some time for, for themselves. Because otherwise, if I take an uh, example of my mom, uh, she was a leader before she had the marriage. Uh, she was, uh, I would say, a unique uh, person who uh, was um, partially leading a lot of men and uh, have been an example that many people wanted to follow. She was like so positive and energized and uh, just full of life. Uh, and she was so self-confident. And that changed during her marriage because she was so focused on children and husband and afterwards business. Uh, but she forgot about having time to herself and um, that had an impact because, um, let's say, if I come back a few years ago, uh, she was not so confident uh, that her decision or her idea was quite good, uh, even though it was usually a case. And uh, she was uh, not paying attention how she's dressing and what she's eating and so on. Uh, so that of course had an uh, impact how she looked. And um, I knew our women who uh, have been investing uh, in every sphere of their life and balancing with that. Uh, so for example, maybe they didn't spend all their time with children, but when they have been with their children, let's say one, um, at once a week they had a day uh, spending with one child and then another day with another child. It was 100% quality of that time spending with a child. And this woman usually, um, I would say, even get uh, more respect from their children because they see uh, their mom succeeding in many spheres, becoming CEOs or um, top managers or uh, entrepreneurs and so on. And of course, that's leading for an example that I want to be as my mom, for example. Uh, so for me, the question how we women can have the life we deserve, be happy uh, and uh, experience a, a larger or bigger fulfillment uh, is about A, um, paying time for ourselves, making this time and spoiling ourselves uh, at least one hour a day, start with that. And then another thing is um, to become confident. And usually uh, I think that for me, the criteria is not just to be sharp and you know, uh, say uh, very confidently what you think about the situation, but also the ability as like first step, the ability to say no. And if you observe in your behavior as a woman that you, have hard time to say no and of course I also experience the same situation sometimes then ask yourself um, why you experience this uh, difficulty to say no what stop you what beliefs what thoughts stop you to say no even though you really believe that you have to say no in this situation you shouldn't accept everything right because not everything fits you your, your style of life uh, please ask yourself if you always say yes, even though you want to say no, 
what kind of beliefs and thoughts stop you to say no? Why are you afraid to do that? What stops you? And go deeper and analyze because usually this cause that you'll find stops you from uh, succeeding as a woman in general and work on that. Try to say next time no if you really want it. So uh, I hope that these two things, paying time uh, and having time for yourself, spoiling yourself and really saying no when you feel like that, these two can help you to become a powerful woman and have more time to enjoy your life.